like uh, I don't know who won the toss yet. We'll find out. Everybody, welcome to Tom Dobney Field. Bill Rogers here with Nick McCombie. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to 2017 Opening Night Division One Football live in Portsmouth. This is going to be quite an interesting game tonight between the Portsmouth Clippers and the Spalding Red Raiders. Bill, are you excited as I am? Oh yes. Yep, and it's time to go back to school, you know, and it's just like a can't believe it. We were just through summer. Amazing how time flies by, you know. And we were remember when we were broadcasting when it's just not even it built it doesn't even feel like last year, but when we were broadcasting the Portsmouth basketball games, and now we're back at it. Broadcasting for uh, Portsmouth football, you know. I'm so happy right now that we're back at it and for Friday night lights. This is great. It's great to be here. And uh, so we're we're looking at uh, the uh, uh, Portsmouth Clippers, and, and we we're going to do our national anthem. It looks All like right. so. Let's take a break. All right. Great national hey. anthem from the Portsmouth Band. Ready for some high school football, Division One. Absolutely. You know, part of the story, Portsmouth winning the championship in Division Three, moving up Division Two, winning the championship was a few years ago, um, and, uh, and then moving up to Division One, yep. and now playing with the big boys. Absolutely. It's amazing how much they've done, you know. Um, actually, they did not win the Division uh, Two state championship. They lost to Plymouth, but they went to the semifinal. They went to the finals, and they lost by one point, by one touchdown. It was just unbelievable game. Yeah, Bill? Yes. Uh, okay, we'll just, just, yeah, don't. So it's all right, uh, memory cards full? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting a signal. Oh, okay. So that's the key is we're sending it to you mm -hmm. right now. For those tuning in, welcome. <laughs> welcome. So tell me, tell me, Nick, uh, what are some keys to this game? Well, keys to the game tonight, well, I've been looking up. Uh, this is uh, brought to you in part by uh, um, by uh, Coraway. Um, and uh, also, uh, shout out to Max Prep. Thank you for uh, helping me out. Keys to the game, step one. Uh, flashy outside passes. Portsmouth's got to be very careful with these flashy outside passes that they did last year. They uh, they had a rough record last season uh, playing. Uh, you know um, they didn't make the playoffs very well. They had a five and four record. Tough season for them. Um, so five wins, four losses. Also for Rochester, you wind know, just blew a football off the tee. Uh oh. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta blow off the football. So Portsmouth's gonna get the ball first, but. The other keys to the game are defense. If you're Spalding, oh, tough kick there. Portsmouth will recover it by number one. And we are underway for the 2017 uh, football, Friday Night Light football. Anyways, getting back to the keys to the game, Spalding's defense. If you're going to contain Portsmouth, cover the middle. Make sure that nobody can get through the middle area because Portsmouth always likes to play the running game. And they also like to play the outside passing game. So just be very careful on that. Also, uh, second pa thing was keys to the third key to the game: deep passes. 
If you're playing deep passes, you're playing the risky game, don't want to do that. Make sure that it's easy, you know, right down, um, you know, quick slant passes. If you're uh, Portsmouth, try and do some of that stuff. And then also, if you're Rochester or Portsmouth, both sides, close the pockets. Make sure nobody can get open on those. Those are the keys to the game, brought to you in part by uh, Coraway uh, Institute. And also uh, my... Cinemagic. Cinemagic Stadium Theaters. You'll love Cinemagic. <laughs> and uh, and also... I go there Clipper, all the time. The Clipper Tavern. And the Clipper Tavern, our home for the Portsmouth Clippers and alumni. Thanks, thanks guys, for uh, helping us, help getting us here. And the game is on. Much love, guys. <laughs> Now, the record for Portsmouth, um, they have been uh, dominating Rochester. I can't remember the last time when Portsmouth uh, beat Rochester or lost to Rochester. Um, the last game that they played against Spalding was at Spalding, and they won 46-6. So we're going to find out oh, right now. Nice pass. Excellent pass there from Portsmouth. Yeah, That'll be a first your, down and 10. And there is your quick slant. Ball on the 33-yard line. First down and 10. Portsmouth's got two guys in the back. Receiver set. Launched at Cody Graham in the middle, and he is taken down at the line of scrimmage. Might uh, fell forward for a yard. Yep. Uh, if we're lucky. Tough one right there. 10.56 left to play. Second down and 10, ball spotted on the 42. We're in the first quarter. Portsmouth set. Man to his left on the quarterback. Receiver's running, Cody Graham. Jukes one, throws it, and that play is gonna be dropped. Tried to throw a little lob pass on that one, Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I see some yellow on the field there. Yep, we got some hankies out there. <laughs> and it looks like they're uh, marching down the field, so it looks no, like. An automatic first down, it looks like right there. Yep. I think that was, yep, Portsmouth will get the first down. Ball spotted on the Rochester 42-yard line. 10.32 left, Portsmouth. Two guys back with Cody Graham. Handoff. And maybe a gain of three on that one. It might have been a gain of three yards. Cody Graham, he's been through a, uh, a lot of uh, moments. Yeah, what do you... What are you thinking of there? Um, I got to tell you, you know, he's been through a lot of injuries last season. Comes back, wins a state championship in basketball. Unbelievable! This guy, this guy is, you know, he's a warrior. He 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 steps up to the plate, and you know, coming back from knee surgery, and he's done a fantastic job. Great pass there, caught Whoa, right there for an automatic on. first down. That one's going. I don't said that's automatic. That that's that's work. <laughs> that was great work. Yeah. Jumped right over that defender. My goodness, that ball was caught right there by number 81 for Portsmouth, uh, Hunter Adams. Beautiful catch right there. Hunter oh. Adams again, oh, he drops the ball. Okay, I'm gonna be right back at you. We're just gonna give uh, <laughs> my friend Nate Piram on our second camera, another battery. Excuse right. me one second, I'll be right back yep. at you, Nick. Yep. Keep the fires burning. Oh, absolutely. Got ourselves a second down and 10, ball spotted on the 19 yard line. 9.43 left to play. Two men back with Cody Graham. Might be a possible handoff here. Wide receivers left and right. Handoff. There's a hold. Uh, it's gonna be holding on that one. No flag on that. 
No score yet for Portsmouth. Clock running. Okay, Thor is um, standing on the uh, right now. They're moving him. One man on the right-hand side of Cody Graham. Hikes the ball. Cody Graham dodges a tackle, and he is sacked. It'll be fourth down. Ball spotted on the 21, fourth down and 12. Ouch. They're going to be moved to the 35-yard line on Rochester. So now they're going to go for it. They, they do not have a punting formation. Cody Graham's going to go for it. Going to take a risky move. Cody Graham is out. Throws it. It's wide open to 44. He's got it. And the first start of the season. Touchdown, Portsmouth Clippers. Bob Bang. Thank you very much. In the end zone. Welcome to 2017 Friday Night Lights. Way to call that, Nick. Will Connor will get the touchdown for Portsmouth. And it is 6 0. They are going to go for the field goal, it looks like. They got the kicker set. Hunter Adams looks like he's going to be kicking it. So he will be, I believe he is the kicker. And it's right down the middle. What a way to start the season off. 8.16 left, Portsmouth dives right in and says, hey, how are you, Rochester? <laughs> Great turnout crowd here tonight, Bill. Both sides, Rochester, Portsmouth, they're ready for Friday night football. It really is. Well, like I said, a beautiful night. Absolutely. First, first day in September. And it's very windy out, you know? It really you is. Never, you never know the weather in New England. That's the thing I love about living here in New Hampshire, you know? You get a windy day, you'll get an extremely hot day. You never know. So, but when you're on the seacoast, it's always all about the wind. And I think the sails are setting for Portsmouth, and they're floating away right now, 7 nothing. But it's early, but we got a lot of football to play. It's going to be quite a wild game. You can hear the Portsmouth band going crazy. There's still plenty of seats, fans, if anybody wants to come out to the football game and still listen to us here live in Portsmouth here at Tom Dobney Field. Rochester will be receiving. As Portsmouth scored a touchdown, beautiful touchdown by number 44 for Portsmouth, Will Connor. Portsmouth will be kicking it away. And it's a ground onside kick. It went off. It went off there, Rochester, and it is down. Excellent field position if you're Rochester. You're spotted right at the 40. I'd say the 42. He's got the 42 yard line. All right. Now it's time to see what Rochester can do. They had a record of 0-10 last season, so now it's time to see if they can uh, bounce back. They're a hungry team. They're out there trying to get the prime rib. <laughs> so here we go. They hike the ball. Got a wide open pass. Excellent pass right off in the corner. Whoa, He's got an excellent break right through. Gain of nine yards there. He's close to it. Might be inches. It'll be a second down and one. No, they're going to get second down and three. Seven forty-eight left. Quite a game we're coveraging here, Rochester and Portsmouth. This is what we uh, call the triple triangle rivalry with Portsmouth. It's Portsmouth, Rochester, Dover, and Winnicunit. Here we go.
And then when the playoffs, Portsmouth plays Bishop Girton, they have that rivalry. All right, here we go. First, they gave the, it's going to be a first and 10, so they did give them the first and 10. So Rochester set to go. Handoff. What a move there. Portsmouth pushing him back. It's going to be pushed back even further. Well, the AD, runner for, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. The Nick. runner for Rochester, number 33, uh, John uh, Spilletz. John Spilletz couldn't get it right through the middle. Quarterback for Rochester, and we got ourselves a flag. See what the call is. Might be a uh, offsides. Offsides. He'll be backing it up. No, pulling it forward, so it's offsides to Portsmouth. Second down and 12, ball spotted on the 49 yard line. Thrown off, and it's in and out of the hands of the receiver, number 17 for Rochester, Ryan Lane. Noel LaPointe set, throws it, great pass, right to number 85 for Rochester, and he's going to get a couple, maybe, good enough. I don't know if they're going to do a punting formation, it's too close to the goal line. Now folks, if some of you guys that are tuning in from other states that I've uh, made a shout out to as well, that are trying to know New Hampshire football, there's not many field goal kickers out there that are uh, that can go from the 50-yard line like uh, Rob Gronkowski, if you know what I mean, Bill. <laughs> yes, sir. Or uh, Guskowski. My apologies, Guskowski. I get those two names confused. The G's. Ooh, they did. Uh, they, they did get the first down. Yeah. Excellent job by Rochester. Good call to make the first down on that play. So they will get it. First down and ten. Ball spotted on. The four, on Portsmouth's 37-yard line. I thought it was at the 44, 37-yard line. Excellent pass. Here comes Rochester. Can't get it through. They're going to push it back. Hard work right there. Easy work. <laughs> well, one of the things that uh, Russ Wilson, the uh, AD here, athletic director here in Portsmouth, said is, is that uh, mm -hmm. that Portsmouth line is really strong. Oh, yes. I've been reading a lot about it in the Portsmouth Herald. You know, shout out to the Portsmouth Herald. They do excellent coverage on the Portsmouth High School football. Oh, there's a handoff right there. Still got him. Another drop down and another set of yards lost. Excellent play by Portsmouth. That line is solid. Last season it was a struggle. With all the injuries that Portsmouth had, it was just unbelievable. They went through three quarterbacks last season, and also they went through their wide receivers, so they had to open up shop with a lot of freshmen. So maybe some of these freshman kids that came up from last year are going to get a taste of what it's like to be in the show, even on both sides. So here's a big, long throw. It's a beauty. Rochester wide open. He's got it for the first down. Unbelievable catch by number 24. For Rochester, wow, that was a beautiful catch by Mitchell Stokes. Unbelievable catch by Mitchell Stokes. Great, great catch. Knew where he was going. Remember what I said about outside passes. Rochester, if you're gonna if you're gonna pull it on Portsmouth, if that line is solid in the middle, go after the outside passes. And we got a flag down on the play. Looks like it's gonna be on Rochester for um, offsides. So we're going to back it up a little bit. Might be on Portsmouth. Yeah, against Portsmouth. And it's against Portsmouth, so they will get the ball on the goal line. First down and seven. Ball spotted on the seven-yard line. Nope, three. They moved it to three.
And Bush it is a touchdown. touchdown. It looks like it's, I see signs of a touchdown for Rochester. Is it a touchdown? Uh, I think that was the uh, the players trying to be officials, but uh, yeah, you know, don't you love those? No. <laughs> How about this year? You know, the Patriots winning the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Fifty One. Unbelievable. Here we go. Second down and one. Hand up. It's going to be a quarterback sneak. Is it in? Rochester, touchdown! There they and go. there's a flag. Oh, flag. there is a flag on the play. Hold the phone, folks. We got a flag on the play. The Spalding Red Raiders, they have a flag, and it's going to go on Spalding, so we're backing it up a few notches. 408 left to play. Portsmouth, 7. Rochester, 0. If I'm Rochester, I pass it off on the outside. I do a pitch and toss right across. Here we go. One man in the back for Rochester. Hikes it. Here's a quick throw. And he had to get rid of it. There was a sack possibly coming into that one. Fantastic football played so far. Portsmouth Clippers getting set. A lot of open space over there in that Clippers uh, lineup. Lines up with all uh, wide receivers. Here we go. And a quick throw. Intercepted by Portsmouth. Number one for Portsmouth. He intercepts the ball. What a play by Zach Crowell. He'll get the interception. He will, he's graduating in 2019, the junior from Portsmouth. Fantastic interception. Now comes the trouble for the offense. They are playing uh, pretty close to the six yard line. First down and 10, ball spotted on the six. Good read on that one. I gotta give the defensive, I gotta give the defense credit, Bill. That was something right there from Portsmouth. Yep. Good eye in the whole field. Mm-hmm. He didn't come across there. Here we go. First down at 10. Ball on the 7. So they gave him, uh, I guess, another yard. Cody Graham gets it. Tosses it over. It's going to go. What a move by the wide receiver on that one. Oh, my goodness. I hope we caught that right on the camera. Wow. He jumped up in the air and thought he was going up in the air. <laughs> But he got a uh, he he got flipped around. Takes me back to my old hockey days when you do the hip check. <laughs> <laughs> he did a hip check and ran a couple, but looks like he ran backwards. So he got one yard loss on that one. Here we go. Crody Graham hikes the ball. He's going to try and run a little bit through. Tough position for Portsmouth, and it looks like Rochester is going to hold the fort down. Might be a gain of a few. Might have got it right back. Yep, he got it right back on the 10. So we're at third and 10. Ball spotted on the 7. Back at the 7 again. Ports are reading their plays off. Cody Graham out there. If you're tuning in to Coraway Sports, uh, thank you for tuning in. We keep... NH1. NH1. NH1, the NH1. gridiron. The gridiron, yep. They're here too. Oh, they are. They're, that's and there's a quick doing. pass. Ooh. Oh, off his hands. That wind must be causing the problem. You know, when they get that ball up in the air and you get a good enough amount of wind, it gives it a little bit more speed. So it's going to carry that ball. Yeah, NH1 is bringing us here today mm -hmm. uh, along with those, uh, those good folks at the Clipper Tavern and Cinemagic. Absolutely. I love Cinemagic. 
And, uh, you know, people know NH1 is statewide news, and uh, sports is part of that stuff that's happening all around the state. So mm. that's what brings us here today. Absolutely. New Hampshire, Granite State, loves sports. <laughs> That wind's blowing pretty good right that now. Wind coming through. Yep, yes, absolutely. Sir. I think the sh I think the sails are setting right now. Here comes the kick. They're going to punt it away on the fourth and ten, and the good. ball is going to be bouncing around, and it will be in Portsmouth territory. That wind is going to be a factor for those punters out there. So, if you're punting towards the wind, I believe the it wind. If we're looking this way, I think it's we're looking east, right? Bill, if I'm looking this way, I'm looking. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I, I think it's east. My, uh, if the wind is pointing east, and then we'll just say that's south. If we're going the other way, I'd have to look at my. Uh, your, your compass that yeah, you have compass, in your back yeah. pocket. Yeah, you know, but I don't have that compass in my back pocket. All I got is a watch. Yeah. <laughs> watch with no compass. <laughs> and, and I have a hard time uh, looking at my uh, at my phone and figuring out where my. Uh, get into my Google Maps and zooming in there's yeah. a oh wow well, ball up. is loose there great play right there gotta give Nate great uh, great compliments down there working on the coverage down below he's doing a really good job here we go second down and 10 ball spotted on the 38 one man back for Rochester Fakes the handoff, but he's gonna he's gonna hand it off to another player. Couldn't tell who it was in that scramble. Looked like a bunch of scrambled eggs in there. <laughs> Third down and twelve. Rochester has their wide receivers uh, all to the right. And we got a flag on the play. It's going to be on Portsmouth. So it will be an automatic. No, uh, just five yards. So. Just five yards. I thought it was going to be a first down right there. Yeah, just an offside. Yep, just another offside. Portsmouth's been having struggles. Last season they had a struggle with the offside. So it's all factoring in, you know. You know, when you play the first game of the season, folks, and we're going to let them do this play really quick, and it looks like another whistle on the play. Might be an official uh, check. Just really quickly while they're doing this official check here. Um, when you're playing the first game of Friday Night Lights, you're still trying to find the identity of the team. Everybody's still, you know, it's just like playing in any sport. You know, you want to find the identity of what you're capable of doing. You know, some of these guys know each other pretty well, but, you know, there are some guys that come in who are new to the whole, whole new to the whole thing. So from, like, the freshman team to the JV, some of them from freshman. Oh, ball is loose. There is a quick throw there. Portsmouth is. It's going to Rochester right on the 50-yard line. It was a fumble. A misread on the snap by the quarterback for Rochester. And... Is it going to be Ports? Nope, it is Rochester's ball, so it'll be a fourth down and 12. Terrible mistake there on that one for Rochester. Hopefully they'll bounce back from that. Fourth down, ball spotted on the Portsmouth, Rochester 49. Excellent kick by Rochester. See how the wind is factoring in there, so sure Portsmouth is. will get it right there. The wind is blowing towards that, so here comes number 11 for Portsmouth. Portsmouth still running it. Free, uh, oh, no, couldn't get class. it out of there. So he will be dropped down possibly at the 25, maybe the 25-yard line. He might be stopped at the 25. That was ran by number 11, Jacob Booten for Portsmouth. And here we go, Portsmouth. 42 seconds left here in this first quarter. Portsmouth seven, Rochester zero. Cody Graham in the back. One, one running back. Fake hands off, it's going right to the running back. To his left, and it will be a gain of maybe two yards. 
possibly three, so that'll be second down and I'd say seven. Maybe you got three out of it. So second down, you think? Yeah, second down and I think it might be second down and seven. I, I can't be too certain. Yeah, no, second down. down and eight. Two. I, I was close. I said two, a gain of two yards. I thought it was three, but second down and eight. Ball spotted on the 30. And time runs out here in this first quarter, so we will begin the second quarter. Well, fans, Portsmouth, seven. Rochester, nothing. And let's thank, let's thank Cinemagic. Absolutely, Cinemagic, because you love Cinemagic. And, the, uh, and the, the Clipper Tavern. The Clipper Tavern. And, of course, it's NH1 that brings us here today. Mm -hmm. uh, my organization, Coraway Film Institute, is partnering with NH1 to bring you, uh, bring you uh, football from across the state of New Hampshire. Absolutely. Excellent turnout from the crowd here tonight. We got the middle school cheerleaders for Portsmouth here tonight. Got a lot of fans out here, so uh, hopefully they'll give us a big shout out sometime soon um, during the halftime break. So everybody is um, is uh, turned out pretty well here. So Portsmouth will be going tour going the other way. So. Yeah, I can see this one, yeah. Huh? Yeah, four. One, two, th um, one, two, three. Yeah, there's five. There's five cameras. Sorry, folks, we're having some technical difficulties. We'll be right with you in just a sec. I just let them know that we have some problems. We're just trying to figure out. Yeah, I see five. There's that one, that one, that one, that one. Three. Is there something going on with the other one? Is that one down there? Out? Okay. Okay. Hey. All right, folks, welcome back. Sorry about that. We were having a little technical difficulty on the cam. So we're back at it. Ports of seven, 11 21 left. Third and eight. Portsmouth hands it off. Fake handoff. Cody Graham. What a move. Cody Graham. He's still moving. He's running like LeGarrette Blunt out there. What a move by Cody Graham. But it won't get him to where he needs to be. Fourth down and two. And it looks like the punting team is coming out for Portsmouth. It would be something if I could see a fake punt this season. 10.37 left, clock running. And here comes the kick. It is going to be a straight shot right down the middle. And that ball is bouncing to the 31-yard line. It'll be a first and 10 ball spotted on the 31. And here we go. Portsmouth ready on defense. And here comes Rochester. He's going to make a quick little throw. And it's in the ground. No play there. Pass was intended for number 17 for Rochester, Ryan Lane. He's been the hot hand for this quarterback for Rochester. Here we go. Second down and 10. Ball spotted on the 31 yard line. Hikes it off. Hands off right to uh, Rochester's number 37. 
And he is, no correction, 33. Brought down, hard for me to see here with that one. Uh, all right, 33. John, John Spetz. Portsmouth still moving. Ten oh five left. We got to hold it. No, it's going to go on Portsmouth. So Rochester will get an automatic first down on this one. So the ball will be moved up to the forty-eight yard line. Clock running, here comes Portsmouth. No, Rochester, sorry. Rochester has the ball, and it is dropped down in. He drops down on the run. Second down and 40. Second down, and he's on the. I couldn't tell there was a person in front of me, sorry. Second down at six. And it's going to be a drop down. Ball is loose. Caught by Rochester. And it's going to be Portsmouth ball. Excellent job by Portsmouth. They intercepted the ball on that one, on the fumble. Sorry for the uh, terrible commentating, folks, from my end. Just Here we go. First and 10, Portsmouth. Ball spotted on the 47-yard line of Rochester. Hikes the ball. A lot of pressure on Cody Graham. Cody Graham's going to run it. He'll slide down. Nine oh two left. Portsmouth seven. Rochester zero. It's a cold one here in Portsmouth. The wind is blowing. Hikes the ball. Cody Graham, what a pass. He dishes it off to number 81 for Portsmouth. He's got a good move there. Still going, still going, and he is down at the 30-yard line. Excellent play right there for a first and 10. He gained a little bit more. Pass intended for number 81. Hunter Adams. Hopefully we'll get him on the pregame at the end of the game. Hunter Adams, great move. Two men back with Cody Graham. He's in shotgun formation, set. Hands it off to number 44 for Portsmouth and he is down the middle. Portsmouth. Will Connor, again, he has been the handoff man. He got the touchdown the last time. Been the key source for this Ports and Clippers get a team. Two men back. He's got Will Connors on the uh, the right. Handoff back to Will Connors once again, right down the middle, memory lane. Same old, same old. Excellent play. Rochester did an excellent job trying to contain him right there. It's a third down and six. Ball on the 25. Getting set, Will Connors pulling back a little bit. Motion in the backfield. Will Connors moving. Cody Graham set. Hands it off. No, he fakes the handoff. 
Cody Graham is going to move it up. He might have the, the first down. So it was third and one. Did he get the first down? Referees are going to check. They're going to might they might measure it. Yep, they are going to do a measurement here, folks. So 659 left, Portsmouth 7. Rochester Red Raiders 0. And the measurement, we're going to see how close it is. Did he get it? And it is... It's going to be a close one, folks. It might be inches. Remember the last time when I was going to Portsmouth High School, I did the chain gang for... Um, for Portsmouth's freshman games. And there we go. It is going to be a fourth in inches. So they're going to call it fourth in inches, but it will, it says on the clock, fourth and one. So they're going to call it fourth in inches on this one. Portsmouth so close to getting a first down. Are they going to take the risk? And it looks like they are. They're going to go for it. On a fourth and one. They are in field goal range if they have the kicker to do it. And it would be Hunter Adams if he was going to kick it away. Here it is, the hike off. Right to number 81. There's Hunter Adams. He's going to move it in. Automatic. He's got it. He'll gain two more yards on that one. First down in the goal. Excellent move by the Portsmouth Clippers getting that first and goal. Hikes it off. Cody Graham. And it's a little wide for number 86. What a move there. Kevin Russo. There's a story about Kevin Russo once upon a time. His father used to coach it with the Portsmouth High School Clippers. I have no idea if he's still a part of the crew, but shout out to him. He was a fantastic coach when I remembered him. Great defensive coach. His son is making him a very proud father. Shout out to Kevin Russo. There it is. Number 81 moving it out. Excellent handoff right there. Third down and five. Close to his first down here. We got third down and five. And ball is moving up. It looks like a handoff inside. Cody Graham. Touchdown, Portsmouth. Cody Graham. Mr. 1000 from basketball brings it in to the end zone. What a play by Cody Graham. Portsmouth 13. Rochester zero, we're gonna go for a, f a field goal here. Oh, they're going. The extra point is good. 14 nothing. Some nice marching down the field there. Absolutely. That, shout out to that fan right in front of me right here that just told me extra point. Much love to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, 
you know, field goal, extra point. Yeah, well, you know. Two points difference, <laughs> and uh, that that's why we're at 14. Yeah, it's a first. Right it's my first time broadcasting a football game, so, you know, you got to give me a little credit, you know. Doing great there, Nick. <laughs> Doing great there, Nick. I've been broadcasting basketball games. Hopefully I'll broadcast some hockey games with you for Portsmouth, you know. I could, I could really uh, show you some stuff that I know from hockey in my days of playing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, the old forehand uh, so and backhand. Tonight, look, at that, look at the beautiful... Uh, that beautiful gleaming oh my blue goodness sky as night falls here in Portsmouth New Hampshire hey I heard that you went out to uh, Tennessee to go see that uh, solar eclipse yeah it was an amazing experience mm -hmm. you know to, to be present for the moon lining up with the Sun was uh, a wonderful thing so uh, glad I could do it drove out there with my daughter but I want to before we uh, get back to uh, mm -hmm. the game here I just want to thank Cinemagic absolutely and, uh, yeah. The Clifford Tavern, absolutely, two organizations that have brought, her, brought us here, as well as, of course, NH1. Mm -hmm. uh, no, sh shout us. out, shout out to the Clifford Tavern. I love you guys. Oh, a little, uh, whoa! Whoop. Looks like they uh, miss kick on that one. <laughs> that one went up in the air. That was a uh, whoopsie d. Yeah, <laughs> I was following on uh, Nate's camera. I was following the T. Yeah, I saw that T moving over pretty the good. Center of the Nate, that field. was a great camera shot of that one right there. That was a beautiful camera shot of that T moving around. Oh my goodness. It was like that uh, back in 2000 and, uh, what was it, 2004, the Red Sox game, when you see that fan throw the pizza at that fan, it was like, yeah. here comes the pizza, see it? <laughs> so Spalding. Oh, and the ball is grounded, and we got a flag on the play. It looks like it's gonna be on Rochester if it's in the backfield. See what the flag is. Intentional grounding on uh, Rochester. That's an intention. Roughing the passer. That was a rough. Oh, okay. I thought it was intentional grounding. No. He was pointing at the ground. That God, that foul. fan is giving me. That fan is giving me so well, many pointers. That's well, a good idea, <laughs> and we're grateful for it. You know, I watch so much NFL football. You think that you'd know it. <laughs> So, Rochester's going to get a first and 10 on this one. So, they locked out on that quick throw. And great pass by Rochester. Passed off to number 21, Owen Kane. He'll get the first and Is it a first? No, he did not get the first and 10. So, it'll be second down. And handoff here for Rochester, going to number 33. He's going to go around and hopefully get that first down. Does he get it? It's going to be close. First down and 10. He did get it. Ball on the 39-yard line. And pressure going on the quarterback. Hands it off, throws it. Does number 17. Might be a gain of four. Oh, he got five on that one, so. Second down and five. So he'll gain five of them. And he's going to throw a long ball out there. Does he get it? No. Oh, it's going to be wide. Third down and five. Ball spotted on the 34-yard line. Pass was intended for number 44. 24, number 24 for Rochester. Mitchell Stokes, he's been the uh, eyeball for that quarterback for Rochester.
And another throw up, here comes the throw, intercepted by Portsmouth. They get the big interception. Nice job. Number one, taking a big interception right there for Portsmouth, what a throw. I think, he I think that Rochester player kind of made a mistake. Well, they tried it the last time, and this time Zach Crowell had his eye on it. Picked it up. Hmm. I don't think Actually, it was Zach Crowell. It was uh, number, uh, it was uh, for, was it Zach Crowell? Yeah, it was Zach Crowell. Good call. I didn't. Zach Crowell with the big interception. We get a first and 10 on the 14 yard line. We're in Portsmouth territory. Gotta get it out of here. And Portsmouth's gonna move it up. Uh, number 44 is gonna carry it right in the middle. It's gonna get into that scrum. Will Connor. Really gain it three on that one. Nope, gain a one. Four minutes, clock running, Portsmouth 14, Rochester zero. Still got a close game here, folks, here in Clippersville. And it's gonna be a handoff to number 81, Hunter nice. Adams. Gain of... He got the first down, and it will be a gain of, I'd say 10. He gained 10 yards on that one. Automatic first down on that. No, again, you got to work at that one. That's uh, yeah. That's an earned first, first down. Earned first down, earned first down. <laughs> Here we go. Hand off to number 44. He's going to run it around. He's got a wide open. Nope, man, he's got caught right there. long way around that horn. Yeah, you know. You think it looks easy when you look at it. You're like, oh, flag on, the flag on the play. You think it looks easy, Bill, when you first look out. We do have a flag on the play. Thanks to our camera guy, Nate, helping me out here for my first time coveraging. Shout out to him. He's been doing a fantastic job. Holding. It's going to be holding. Portsmouth will be pushing it back a few. Oh, offsetting. Offsetting. Offsetting? Oh, it's a holding? Yeah, we're moving back. Yep, we're moving back a few notches. First and 15. Ball saw it on the 25 yard line. Correction, 20 yard line. They moved it to the 20. First down and 15. Portsmouth with the ball. 318 left. Portsmouth. Cody Graham has it. Quick throw. Pass over to number 86. Whoa. Kevin Russo. That kid's a player. <laughs> Here we go. First and second and six. I thought it was a first and 10. A gain of, might be a gain of three. Gain of three on that one. No, he got the first down. You're in that first down, Bill. Hey, you got, you gave me that one. You're in the first down. First and 10. Ball spotted on the 35 yard line, hikes it away, Cody Graham has it. Cody moving it. Cody has nowhere to go, he's got one guy on him. He better hurry and throw that quickly. He's got plenty of time, great pass by Portsmouth, great pass. Wow, picked up nine out of that. He got nine Beautiful. on that one. 
And that will be a second down and one. That ball was, man, I was a little concerned on Cody Graham's behalf. He almost got sacked on that play, thanks to one of his linemen. Ball spotted on the 44. Two men left and right on Cody Graham. Set back in shotgun formation. Cody hands it off to number 81. He's gonna try and run it, and he will run Whoa. it around. There he goes. Whoa. He's at the 30, 20. What a move. 10, five, touchdown Portsmouth. Wow. <laughs> He's in end zoneville. <laughs> what a run. Excellent play by Portsmouth, 128 left. Dance down that sideline. And he goes in. Portsmouth 20, Rochester 0. Going for the extra point. Hey, Rob. And the Portsmouth Clippers are going to kick it away. It looks like it's going to uh -huh. be number they, 61 uh, okay, see what I can to kick it away. I might do here. What I might do is uh, is going to be we've got a Jade minute Rivera. Jade Rivera left. kicks it away, and it's a nice kick and right at down the, the middle. I'll restart. And that was a Maybe beautiful kick by Jade Rivera. Sink. Uh, did you try the feed? Okay. All right. Uh, I what I can do is one twenty eight left. The Portsmouth reason twenty one. This is since I have the two feeds going right now. It could be that. Um, so you're on. Uh, so it's a, 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 a game of All right, Portsmouth. Gonna be kicking it away, Jade. Jaden Rivera is gonna be kicking it away. I was gonna quickly tell you, I twisted that knob. I don't know what that one is. Okay. All right. And Rochester will take a knee on this one. Right at the 25. Possibly the 24. 126 left, Portsmouth 21, Rochester zero. Here in the second quarter, Friday Night Lights. Likes it away. Quick throw here, and that one is gonna go wide. Pass is intended for number nine for Rochester. Dylan Brooks, and he is a senior. One man left, wide receivers out. Gonna quickly throw it to, oh, right in coverage on that one. Folks, if you uh, are tuning in, we uh, want to thank you for tuning in uh, to us here today. Uh, shout out to Cinemagic Stadium Theaters and also Clipper Tavern as the handoff is going right down the middle. And that was great pass by Rochester. So shout out to those boys at Clipper Tavern that are listening in here. And also, you'll love Cinemagic. Cinemagic Stadium Theaters. One oh eight left, Portsmouth twenty one, Rochester zero. We got a timeout on the field.
Such a cold day out here in Portsmouth. Don't forget, folks, uh, the halftime show. We're going to do a little halftime show for Portsmouth. They, uh, they're doing the pep band. They'll got be doing pep band. Yep, we got the halftime show. The pep band will be ready. They'll probably give me a chance to take a quick break. and <laughs> We will watch the band. We'll watch the band a little bit. Portsmouth Clipper Band, very legendary around here in Portsmouth and around the United States. They've been everywhere. <laughs> it takes a lot of talent to do what they're doing right there. So uh, Portsmouth, the Clippers will get it back for uh, a minute one. Got a minute one in this first half. Got to uh, gotta put it to the... Good word for the, the Clippers. Mm. Portsmouth has looked really solid here. Absolutely. Great great time to be solid, you know, in the opening season, you know. And uh, their, their first quarterback is uh, Cody Graham had to step up. Absolutely. Uh, as we're... I mean, he's he's been through a lot of injuries. Last season, he was just he was going through a lot of struggles, you know, with the knee injury, and then he coming he was coming back when you know he lost his uh, best wide receiver. Um, now he's uh, he's there off and playing. And there is Cody Graham on a quick throw. Does he have it? Yes, he does. Whoa. Another touchdown in the end zone for Portsmouth, and that looks like Russo. Beautiful. <laughs> Number eighty-six, Kevin Russo will get the touchdown. Portsmouth 27, Rochester 0. Kevin Russo does it again. He was wide open on that play. Going for the extra point, Portsmouth. Going to be kicking it away as number 81. They've been going through some field goal kickers. <laughs> it's a fake. And they're gonna try and do it. Nope, and the fake does not work. Noble effort. Noble effort Spalding on that fake. I'll give him credit. Remember right I said there. I wanted to see a fake today, so I got to see a fake today. I said I wanted to see a fake punt, so I got to see a fake field goal. So why not? Well, they call those points. Yeah, extra after points. Touchdowns. Extra, fake extra point. Yep. Fake extra point. Thank you. <laughs> I guess he must have played uh, the new Madden 18 to try and do the old fake play, you know? <laughs> Taking the risky move on the ultimate team. <laughs> 53 seconds left here in the second quarter. Don't forget, folks, the halftime show with the Ports and Command. Tune in to Coraway to watch it. Great coverage and NA Sports page. And Rochester will recover the ball on a kick. And that'll give him 48 seconds to See what they can do at the end of this first half. I mean, if I'm Rochester, I mean, I know I don't really have too much knowledge of football. I mean, maybe I'm thinking like because I watched the New England Patriots, you know, like Tom Brady. You know what? Take a knee. Just call it. Just call it right here. Go back to the locker room, refresh, run over the playbook again, and see what's going on. But if Rochester thinks they can take it down the field, why not? Do it. And maybe they will. Nice. Excellent. They got an honor. They got a first down on that earn right there. Gain of 12 on that one for Rochester. And the Red Raiders are moving. They're going to try and play around with the clock a little bit. And motion by number 17 for Rochester. He's moving to the uh, right of the quarterback. In shotgun, hands it off. No, he will try and go through. Number 33, moving it around. He will gain more than what he expected. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds looks like we're 20 seconds they are playing the mo they're playing they're playing a Tom they, Brady uh, move uh, hurry up <laughs> yeah, timeout here timeout by Rochester 
20 seconds right on the dot. Timeout, it's timeout Rochester. A little limping there from, is that Isaiah Barba? Number two? Yeah. Yeah, a little limping. Not a good, good rest for the defense too as the offense figures out there. The wind and the cold can also do a factor to the, you know, your body when you're playing football. But I mean, you're getting hit by big guys, so you know, if you get hit hard, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it, you know? One man back for Rochester. And he hikes it away to the quarterback. Quick throw, it's up, it's up, and it is intercepted! Nice pick. Absolutely, good read. 12 seconds left. Whose pick was that? It looked like number 81. Could it have been? Hunter Adams, it might have been Hunter Adams on that pick. They usually do throw the offensive players on the defense, you know. That's one of the challenges Portsmouth has is mm. uh, compared to a lot of their competition, they, they, they don't have a, a, a huge squad. Yeah. Uh, but they are they And are they will take a knee football. on this one. Mm -hmm. And that's going to do it for the half, folks. But yes, they do play good football, and you know the thing is, it's not like it's not like college ball, you know, where they they're gonna, you know, they have the numbers and they recruit, you know, all these players, and it's not like the NFL. So. So, uh, as we go into this halftime again, I want to thank. Cinemagic and the Clipper Tavern for mm -hmm. supporting absolutely, us here. Absolutely and, love uh, Cinemagic. And, and thanks to NH1 for bringing us here today and partnering in mm -hmm. New Hampshire. Gridiron getting across the state of New Hampshire. We'll be in Merrimack next week. Mm -hmm. And uh, be across the state as this uh, as this fall continues. So 27 to nothing. Portsmouth has uh, found a good groove here in this Friday Seacoast air. Anyways, Bill, I'm going to quickly take a quick run off the camera for a moment. Okay, and thanks, Nick, and we'll catch you in the second half. Catch you in the second half. Elizabeth Muller is the band ready. Portsmouth High School Clipper Band, give them a show.
Ladies and gentlemen, your Portsmouth High School Clipper marching band. We look forward to adding to this program over the course of the season. We'll see you at the next halftime show. Thank you very much. Okay, with a couple minutes left in this halftime here at Tom Jobney Field in Fortunate New Hampshire, the Fortunate Clippers against the Spalding from Rochester Red Raiders. Here in a beautiful night here in Portsmouth. And thanks to our partners, NH1 bringing this game to you and Cinemagic. Helping getting us help getting us here and the new Clipper Tavern. Feeding all of us. Glad you can join us for some football. And as the teams start coming back onto the field. That's uh one one second, I'm just gonna get uh and run our opening. Okay, and we are back. Troy Hogg and back to Dennis Burkhardt. Ready for a second half of play? Um, yep, absolutely. Welcome back, fans. Welcome back, Nick. Yes, sorry. I was uh, taking care of yourself. Exactly. And uh, these teams are going to take care of themselves, too. Portsmouth has been taking care of themselves in this uh, first half. Oh, yes. Really racking them up. If I'm all right, well, the second half keys to the game. Would you like me to give them away? Go for it. All right. Well, the second half keys to the game. If Portsmouth's gonna, if, if Portsmouth's uh, gonna hold this lead down, they're gonna have to uh, take it up a few more notches and uh, send a message to the rest of the league. Tell them that you know they're they're the uh, the the kings of this uh, this domain. So, for Rochester, if you're Rochester on this part, if you really want to make a comeback. Run through your playbook again and say we got to stop the old stuff and start the new stuff. Let's start uh, making some uh, some changes on that offense and uh, moving the ball a lot more. So you know, so early in the season and finding that finding that groove, I, I was really very pleasantly surprised to see uh, Portsmouth find such a groove. They had, oh, they yes. had a uh, scrimmage last week against uh, Marshwood, hmm. just over the state line. Um, and uh, had a lot of trouble, but you know, sometimes the preseason is not the season. We're in the season now, and the uh, they uh, might have learned something in getting beat up, as uh, maybe Rochester learned something. You know, here is September first, first season of the year, first game of the season, rather. Absolutely. And uh, you know, fun thing about high school football is it all begins here. You know, we always have a, that sense of a, a clean slate. Yes. Uh, there's no money involved in these games. Oh, absolutely. It's 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 really just the beauty of performance. It's not like we're on the Vegas Strip going like, we got to make the quota on DraftKings or anything like that, you know. You know, I got a uh, I got an email from somebody who had seen some of the, the clips we did with, a, with the Summers were a team. Yes. Granted, a smaller team, much smaller school. But their comment was, whoa, You've got little guys in in New Hampshire, and mm -hmm. uh, you know down in Texas, these these are professional sports pretty much. I mean, these oh, players yes. are not play are not paid, but here it's the love of the game. Absolutely. So many sports are like that. I mean, when you come to New Hampshire, it's like okay, um, I'm going to use a hockey term really quick here. Boston, Minnesota, they're all about hockey. Texas, 
football, Indiana basketball. It's live and breathe wherever it is. New Hampshire, it's a little bit of both of everything. That's what the nice thing is about New Hampshire. And even when you go to Maine, it's the same thing. Maine, it's all about, you know, football, hockey, basketball, baseball. And when you come here to New Hampshire, you soccer, find... Soccer, field hockey, soccer volleyball. Soccer field, yeah. You know, I'm amazed they don't have, uh, what is it, that Irish game that they have. Uh, I can't think of it. It's uh, curling? I think it's called curling, you curling, know? Curling, yeah. Yeah, I, you know. I, I haven't heard of You know, I'm amazed that they my, don't uh, have that around here, you know? Uh -huh. Well, my, my sister was a, a great curler down in Cape Cod. They've got a huge amount of curlers really? down on Cape Cod. Yes. Wow. That's a major curling happening down there. But here we are in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, going into the second half. Thanks, yeah, Cinemagic. Mm -hmm. Thanks, uh, Clipper Tavern. Thanks, NH1, and here we go. All right. Rochester will be receiving the ball since Portsmouth won the coin toss and selected well, uh, to receive. Yeah, there you go. And the kick is away. That's a bouncing ball going right there. Rochester receives it in the back by number one for Rochester, Whoa. and he's going to run through, and he's still going, still, still <laughs> going. Wow. Man, he's a little net out there. He can't get stopped. Oh, my goodness. Finally taken down. At the 48-yard line on Rochester territory. My goodness. Carried by number one, Kaelin Craig, Jr. Shout out to... Uh, And the pass is caught by number three. Uh, nope, not caught. No, incomplete. Couldn't see with that football player. You know how you know. When I used yeah, to just get got to jump up a little yeah, higher. Yeah, jump up a little higher. I, I don't want to. I don't want to shake anything. So. I've got the advantage of all of these <laughs> monitors in front of me. Yeah, you know that's like expensive thousand dollar equipment. I don't want. Well, good camera operators help. Good camera. Too. Yep, absolutely. Nate's and right here there. we go, hikes it away. And that's going to be a handoff to number 33 for Rochester. And that is going to go back a little bit for number 33. And that is Joel S um, Spilletz. And it's going to be third down and 10, no gain. So he got it right on the line of scrimmage. If you're a Rochester th fan saying, thank God, now he's going to throw it. Long throw, and the ball is bounced out Locked of number one down. for Portsmouth. Zach Crowell has come, up, Zach has Crowell, come up big The junior. Today. The junior. Zach Crowell. You know when it's your junior year, that's when you kind of start to see some things, Pat, you know, pattern out you know in any sport you play in you know you can start to go like hey I've been there before as a sophomore now I know what it's like my junior year is coming up senior year you're like the expert out there knowing knowing what's going on here's a quick pass here oh no it's a kick my that apologies was the punt. <laughs> my bad I was not paying attention there I was looking at the roster here comes Portson with the ball though oh nice, on the move. Punt. nice move there he's still going he's at the 30 the 20 for the third the 20, and he will be knocked down, possibly at the Look 19. At 15. 15. 15. He got the 15, and there is a flag on the play. I do see a yellow flag on the play. Hold the phone. Like towards the end of the play on the uh, on the run, play so. The yep. No, we do have a. Is that a face mask? Holding the, yep, that is a face mask. Holding on the Against, Clippers. holding on the Clippers. So they will be backing up. So they will go at it from the 25. Yep, they're gonna go right at the 25. A lot of broadcasting here today. We got NH Sports on our left. Well, NH1, we're here. And yep. uh, that's the important thing is that mm -hmm. we are here, we're here now, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Clippers try to 
actually. No, I'm sorry. I said the 20. Uh, it, yeah, we are at the 25. Yep, the 25. And here comes Portsmouth. Ooh, nice triple formation there. Nice six-yard scramble there after some trickery with all those backs collecting. So we are live on NH1. That's where we are. Oh, oh my. That's us. <laughs> I love NH1, you know, they coverage great UNH hockey games too. Oh. And there's a ball right there. 44 of Will O'Connor on the run. Puts a third down. And two. And as a, as a uh, teacher over in the Career Tech Center in uh, mm -hmm. Summersworth, anyway, after this play, I'll fill you into us looking for future broadcasters, journalists to get their get their voice on NH1. Great opportunity for students to be heard. Great opportunity Absolutely. with this medium. Absolutely. And we got two guys in the back. Hand off to number 44, Cody Graham. And just pass it off. And I believe he got the first down. Yep, he did. 44, oh, Will Connor. Connor. Will Connor got the first down. Excellent job by Will Connor. Forgive me if I don't get the names correctly. First uh, uh, game of the season. Two of us up here, so we yeah. can uh, tackle can this do thing. Do some down. cross checking. Exactly. Mm. Not playing hockey, but yeah, <laughs> that's illegal in hockey. But here it's good. Yeah, absolutely. And Whoa. the throw is up in the air. Caught for another touchdown nice. for Portsmouth. Beautiful. Is that Owen Kane. It is oh, Owen was, Kane. That was Owen Kane. <laughs> Owen Kane. Class of 2018, the senior. Owen Kane. Portsmouth 33, Rochester nothing. Going for the extra point. Uh, they're going to go for two. Portsmouth set for two points. Make up for that missed uh, play that they tried to do. Cody Graham set. He's got number 81 for Portsmouth on his left side. Hunter Adams. Hunt and Cody Graham gets it. Cody going to run it in for two. What a fake there. Excellent job for Cody Graham. Mr. 1000 does it again. <laughs> Cody Graham. Falling Red Raiders zero. Excellent job, Portsmouth, 35. Rochester Red Raiders, zero. If you're the Rochester Red Raiders, now you gotta do some real thinking. <laughs> it's gotta come to mind that something's going on here. We need to work something out. Yeah, and they got a season to work it out. Yes. They uh, had a rough year last year as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they didn't even win a football game last year, and it was kind of sad because, you know, Rochester fans, there's so much loyalty in Rochester for their football team. You know, they are, they're a big sports community, you know, out there, and as well as Portsmouth, you know. But you look at it, and Rochester is, you know, has tried so many times to try and get, you know, their teams to, you know, jump on the bandwagon. And we want them, you know, they, they want the sports teams to, you know, do succeed well. Oh, bobbled right there, but he caught it. And, you know, they, they've done really well in their basketball season uh, to make the state playoffs this year. So there, there is some hope yet for Rochester. And shout out to them. They're doing a really good job on that. So hopefully the football team will get that spark from the basketball team last year who uh, made it to the state final four. And we'll, uh, we'll, see, we'll see some miracles happen, won't we, Bill? <laughs> Well, again, you know, it's, uh, it's it's about the spirit of the play. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, so uh, Rochester's down right now, but they got got lots of time to play. And here comes a quick pass here, and it's going to be caught, possibly. Let's see what the call yeah, minimal is. Minimal gain. A couple they yards. They did catch it. Yep. Pass to the ground. Second down and 39. Second 
Hand off. And it is right there to Spetz. And he will gain another first down. Balding running back 33, John Speets. For a first so down. John Speets. Tom Kozakowski in the fast. back here. <laughs> you can hear him, so he's bailing me out on certain names whenever they run it. And handoff here. Yeah, strong yeah. hit. An excellent hit right there. Don't want to hit too hard. <laughs> John Spence with the run for Spalding. Excellent run for Spalding right there. And he's got a man on, on coverage here. And the pass is, is it caught? Out of bounds. Pass is complete. Third down for Spalding. Third down and six, ball spotted on the 48 yard line. Ball on the 48. And we got a flag on the play. Portsmouth penalty. Yeah, it's oh, a and it's going to be on Portsmouth. You can hear the coach in the background there, Bill, yelling uh, in the back. Yeah, it's early, mm. early season. You got to get mm. this, uh, get your, get your systems in place. Absolutely. Get your players paying attention. Gotta and, get that uh, bandwagon rolling. <laughs> five to nothing doesn't mean you don't have to still oh, work. Oh yes, and pay absolutely, attention. absolutely. You can't sit back on your heels. Long season. Absolutely. And handoff here. And Spetz goes right down the middle. Excellent play by Rochester. Run it down the middle, and we got a fourth down and two. Yeah, it's real close. Real close. What are they, inches? Fourth one. They're going to call it fourth and one. Fourth and inches. Oh, inches. So we're at that inch point. And I think he got it. We're in there. Yeah, we're in there. As they, how are they uh, setting that? First down, Spalding. First down, Spalding. They did get it. Spalding High School did get the first down. First and 10. And it's going to be a throw straight down the middle. Number 17. 17's got it. And he is dropped Brought down, down right at the five. Wow. Ryan Lane, number 17. Oh, Oscar, uh, is it Ryan? Yep, it's Ryan Lane. I'm looking at the Portsmouth roster. I look at 17 on the Portsmouth roster, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? How did like, that happen? I'm like, that guy is not Ryan Lane. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes a handoff, and it's going to be run in the middle, and maybe a gain of a couple. Second down, Spalding. Second down for Spalding. They are at the goal line. And Rochester's knocking on Portsmouth's door here at Tom Dobney Field. 4.05 left, clock running. Red Raiders town, hoping to throw an arrow. Here we go. Quick throw. 
And the pass is caught by Ooh. Rochester. He dug and for it. He's still oh. got it. He's still moving, and it's going to be. It yeah, is a touchdown. Did. They he did, did get it. Good move they up did top. get it. The Rochester Red Raiders score a touchdown. 342 left. On the board for the 2017 season. They made life happen. <laughs> They sound like they're going to stick their nose into this fight, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of those uh, epic games we saw last year. It ain't over till it's over. Is exactly. The, exactly. The cliche goes. Look at look at the New England Patriots. Twenty-eight to three. Yeah, twenty-eight to three. There's the Clippers coming up and blocking that point after. No so no good on that one. But you got to give them credit. You know, Rochester. They're putting a fight up. Absolutely. It would be something to see a comeback. <laughs> to see a, a New England Patriots style comeback. 35 to six as you score. Gotta give those New England Patriots credit, you know? As well as these fine teams that are out here. The Rochester Red Raiders and the Portsmouth Clippers. You could smell that grill cooking over there in the left there, Bill. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to those uh, folks that are cooking over in the grill. And shout out to Cinemagic and Clipper Tavern. Portsmouth will be getting the ball back. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask, Nick, you staying, staying warm in this? Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful night, but it's... Mm. Uh, Clipper nippy. Exactly. If the camera was on me, I could show you the old, the, the jacket I'm wearing today, you know. Mm -hmm. Told me the tie and the suit, so I said I'll come out, you know, trying to look look to look my best. So You're very presentable. <laughs> well done. Well done. So Spaulding's going to give a, a rare kickoff of this game to the Clippers. Yep. High and one. that's a high one. They're going to let it go, let the ball bounce back. Ooh. Whoa. That played a little funny on him. Yep. <laughs> he looked at it. He's like, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> Fortunately, he <laughs> should. Yes. And he did. <laughs> Thank goodness. So it's going to be first down at 10 uh, for Portsmouth on the 34-yard line. They will be playing in Clipper territory. And here we go. Excellent ball movement by number 44. He's going to run it, possibly gain of five. Gain of five, I think, on that one. Six, maybe. Second down and six. Second down and six. 2.34 left. Hopefully, Bill will get some players from Portsmouth and Rochester on the uh, end of the game for a uh, quick little uh, interview. Great. Nice little moves there. Absolutely. Nice movement. Excellent play there. And it is going to be... Got two more yards to go to get the first down. So it'll be third Game down and, two, third down and two. two. Third down and two. We and pass thrown to Cody. Now to. Oh, oh. what a move! And he will get the first down and more. Pass, and pass was caught and complete to number 11 for Portsmouth, Jacob Booten. Ball is spotted on the 43-yard line for Portsmouth. 7-16, um, 11, 1-16 left, sorry. I thought that was a 7. My, mm -hmm. my eyes 
when I glanced over to the clock. Your eyes deceived you. And my eyes deceived me. I was like, wow, we got more time. <laughs> now we're down to a minute. One man left, one man right for Portsmouth. Handoff to number 32 Ooh, for Portsmouth, and he will be taken down. Big penetration by uh, Spalding there. Spalding, excellent tackle there. For the play, number 32, DeAndre Lucas. DeAndre Lucas for, for Portsmouth, number 32. Five on the play, down and 15. He's not on our roster, so he must be one of the freshman kids or sophomore, so we'll have to look that up. I don't know if you see it on yours, uh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> the Brady Bunch. <laughs> must be one of the plays for Portsmouth. They always do put pictures up when they do plays, so. And here we go, and Portsmouth will throw it, and the pass oh. is intercepted by Rochester. Rochester has intercepted the ball as it goes through the hands of number one for Portsmouth, of Zach Crowell. Oh, boy. Two seconds. Zach Crowell's had some great catches today. Oh, absolutely. That one, that one just out of his hands, and oh, into, boy. Uh, who's that number 21 on Spalding? Number 21, number 21 for Spalding is Tyler Dickinson. Mm -hmm. So Tyler Dickinson takes the interception as the Zach Crowell. And we come to the end of this quarter. we are reached the fourth and final quarter here. And we're going to play another 12 minutes of football. Well, folks, it's my first time broadcasting a football game. You did a great job there, Nick. Thank you. I've done. Thank you for stepping I've done, in. I've done. I've done basketball, so hopefully I'll do some more football games with you, folks. Uh, I know there's a Dover game coming up. The uh, the rivalry for Dover. Yeah, um, and we will. That's our final game of this year. Will be the Clippers versus the Green Tide of Dover. Yep. So we'll finish off our season that way. We've got some. Uh, and that'll be live in Dover. So. Yes, it Sorry will be. That. And. <laughs> We also will be uh, capturing some of the championship rematches, mm -hmm. uh, the Bo Plymouth game, the uh, Stevens uh, Interlake game, mm -hmm. as well as the big we one, the Bedford Exeter rematch that'll be in Bedford this year. So oh boy. a bunch of great games to see this year mm -hmm. with uh, NH1's coverage of the New Hampshire's gridiron. And here comes a quick throw Whoa. here for Rochester, and it's, oh my goodness, he had 17 wide open, and he looking was looking for, for a pass a interference on that one. <laughs> wow. Looking for a pass interference on that play. So uh, as we go into this uh, fourth mm -hmm. quarter, again, you know, I, I, we've mentioned these guys a lot because, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it's it's great when people mm -hmm. take part in this and want to thank Cinemagic. Absolutely. And the Clipper Tavern for uh, being part of this this new thing we're doing, which mm -hmm. is statewide uh, coverage of football with NH1. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Great to be here tonight. I'm starting to move around a little bit because the, the mm -hmm. nippy air is, is working here, and I'm not out in the field like these guys are working real hard, so mm -hmm. i got to do a little bit of a dance up here to Second keep myself warm. Absolutely. Get a little well, stiff in the football. joints, you know. Yeah. I get a little stiff sometimes, too, because I'm standing up right now and so on and so forth. So here we go. Hiked away, and Rochester has it. They're going to throw it up in the air. Whoa, it's a long, long ball. ball. He's oh. got it. Whoa. Rochester has caught the ball, and it's going to run out of bounds. Wow. Wow. My goodness. Jack Number Russo six. looked, uh, looked a little uh, stymied, looked Noah a little disappointed. Noah, Noah LaPointe cut that. Noah LaPointe threw the ball, and he got a beautiful That's pass. And I couldn't tell who it was for Rochester on that Pick play. That the number on that, Bill will probably help me out on the replay on that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we got a flag on the play, so. Next week we'll get our replays going. I'm sorry to say, gang, we don't have our replays uh, going right here, right now. 
but we'll get those. You know, first game of the year. We're getting our uh, we're getting our cobwebs out too, dusting the uh, dusting off the equipment after the summer uh, summer in the boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, knocking the cobwebs off of our brain as we get. We got to do a good job like these kids do a good job out in the field. Absolutely. It's hard work playing football. <laughs> it is. And there's a hand. There it is. Whoa, Touchdown, right Rochester. In. Wow. Right in. Wide open gap right down the middle. And it's going to be Spalding right there. It's, uh, the Red 17. Raiders toss an arrow right down the, down the pipe. And it was a great play by Rochester. Excellent play. Yeah. And uh, we uh, looks like we're going to go for the extra point with a field goal. Or, here we go. Looking pretty solid right here. 35 to 12. Whoop. And there was a bobble on that snap, and Rochester will not get it. So, a valiant effort. And uh, what do we got? 35 to 12. So, uh, 12 unanswered points for Rochester. If you, uh, mm. That comeback you were talking about, Nick, we are 12 points in. So, hopefully, uh, Forsmith can regroup, get some of that... Uh, mm. Some of that momentum they had in the first half. Absolutely. I did see that golf cart go across the field um, for uh, Portsmouth. Uh, I think there was an injury timeout for Rochester. That's why they, they uh, had that golf cart go across the field. So ah. hopefully that player's that? okay and he'll be back out on the field. And Rochester will be, um, sorry, I had a yawn there for a second. It's okay. That's okay. I just looked over to you and yeah, that was, that was a yawn. Yeah, we caught you. We caught you. <laughs> I'm like, I had a quick yawn for a second. <laughs> you got Rochester uh, getting set. I'm not tired. It's just, you know, I got. Got to get the air. Got to get yeah, the air. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe it's uh, the heat of my jacket. Oh, no, it's an onside kick, kick right here. And Trying to catch down. Portsmouth off guard. <laughs> well, they were right on it. Number uh, 60, what do we got there? Number 60, pulling that ball down. Noah Deep, Noah Depp, sorry Noah, get it right next time. And here we go. Portsmouth will have the ball. First down and 10 ball on the 47. And it's a hike. Number oh. 14. Look at these moves right here. And he will drop down in the play. Gain of, I think that was a gain of. That's Jack Russo. Jack Russo again. For a gain of six. It's going to be second down and four. Jack Russo. From the 47. Another Russo, uh, another Russo kid out there. You know a lot of the Russos? Yeah, we got a couple of them. <laughs> we got one that's a wide receiver, and we got a quarterback now. We got a Russo filling in. We got another Russo filling in as a quarterback. So Cody Graham is probably sitting on the, the bench. It's good. It's a good night for him. And Russo, he's he's got a wide open field. Oh no, he's not going to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe Might he's have got a wide that, open field, but not a whole lot got, of space to throw Maybe he's from. got Zach Crowell on his eye right now. He's going down the. He's looking down uh, the the uh, the far lane. <laughs> Third down and four. And three. Oh, three. They're going to give him one. Oh, you can get in an argument with those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Take a measurement. Yeah, take a measurement. <laughs> 
get out my old yardstick and go, wait a minute, <laughs> something's not right here. Oh. And there it is. He thi I think he's got the first down. Pretty close. Pretty close. Did he get it? Pass Depending intended for number. Depending where they mark that, looks like it's much 32. within inches. It's not, it's not there. It's our no-namer on 32. <laughs> Giving it no, it's, it's, no it, it's it's a yard back. I was looking at the wrong yard line. Okay, so and so down, Russo for is fourth down. Here we go, fourth down and one. Russo is going to take the snap here, and it's going to be he's going to get there the first down. Nice. Bang, and he's going to get two more. Nice spirited run. Excellent, excellent run by Russo. First down. Russo, class of 2020. So he's a sophomore this year. And here we go. Motion happening. It is a handoff back to Russo again. Russo oh. still running. Russo still going. He's still running. He does a, a stiff, stiff arm, arm on that one. And he's Whoa. out of bounds. And oh my goodness. That was a heavy hit. Oh Push my goodness. The uh, hit was yeah. on number 33, hits Russo. Russo a little shaken up on that one. And you could tell right there, my goodness. Yeah. He's going to take a minute right there. Yeah, yeah, a hit. yeah, he's kind of on one knee right there on that play. Russo taking it easy on that one. We're going to find out right now. Russo, what a play. Yeah. Great. 6.09 left to play. Clock running. Russo is going to be uh, talking with the coaches. That was a fantastic run by Russo. And it's going to be on Spalding. Hit to the head. So they did, uh, they did call a hit to the head on that one. Mm, good. So they're doing, I mean, when they do that. They keep close with that. Yeah, they, they. They have been starting to do, and even in the NFL, they're not they're not doing yeah, a hit to the head. So stuff. finally, serious stuff. Yeah, you don't want to get a concussion. <laughs> and nice. touchdown, Portsmouth. And we got some footballs flying out of nowhere. <laughs> Where did these all come from? So Portsmouth puts themselves clearly back in charge. Absolutely. 41 to 12, Portsmouth. And we got a flag on the play. Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. <laughs> and we're going to find out what this flag is. I'm looking at the camera screen right now. Let's take a step down. Ugh. I've been standing up on a bench here, folks, so I can see. On sportsmanlike conduct. And it looks like it's on Portsmouth. A little celebration? Uh, over excessive celebration. I remember the days when I went to high school, Bill, and uh, I remember uh, Coach Murphy, and uh, he used to never ever like excessive celebrations. I remember him yeah. talking to the most of the players on the sideline. No excessive celebrations. So. Yep. so we're going to kick the extra point here. Number 81 is going to kick it off for Portsmouth. Uh, for probably the probably tack that penalty on to the, uh, the, kick uh, the uh, kickoff. Yep. Would be my guess. And the kick is up, and it's through the uprights, and good. <laughs> Portsmouth 42, Rochester Red Raiders, Spalding High School 12. I get those two confused because they are from Rochester, but you get the, yep. you know, I call them Rochester by accident. They're Spalding. <laughs> nice work by our man on, near the field, Nate Pirum. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, gals, for the cheerleading. Absolutely. Fantastic job by the cheerleading program here at Portsmouth. Great band, too. Absolutely. And the band has done fantastic for opening season. 
They are, the Portrait Band, they're, they're always magical. Every time when you hear a song from them, it's like, it's like, you know. And when they did the halftime show, they did a fantastic job, too. But as, as they always say, it takes a lot of practice to do what they do. Yeah, to the band. To the band and the cheerleaders. Shout out to Tom Kozakowski, who's been uh, upstairs taking care of uh, all of us broadcasters to know names and all these great fans enjoy his great work. He's uh, the assistant athletic director and the kick is away to Rochester. And the ball will be spotted. Just past midfield. Yep. Into the oh, Clipper territory. Ball spotted on the 47 yard line, 5.09 left to play. Ports with 42, Rochester 12. Spalding. <laughs> What do we got? Hopefully we'll, uh, at the end of the game, we'll get a couple players up here. We're down by the field. Will the uh, mic reach down all the way down yep. to the field? Yeah, good, Absolutely. Good, good 100 feet from that. Miles sure. Mike. So we'll see if we can get, uh, get some players here. And the ball Whoa. is bobbled. Whoa. Now just tipped <laughs> by uh, the... Clipper. Great defensive work Clipper. by the Ports and Clippers. Defensive ends there. Max. Excellent read. And that is incomplete as well. I also want to thank uh, John Simus up there on the camera getting our wide shot, our main play camera. Thank you, John. Looking great, my friend. Well, I just met John. He's a very nice man. He was introducing himself to me. He really is. I was bike riding over at Berwick Academy. I saw this huge tower up in the sky. I had a camera on top of it and spoke to him. And we got one in my art program in Summersworth. I don't know how he does it, you know, going up on that big tower. I can't do well, it. I'm afraid no, of heights, so no, I'll tell one you. One of the beauties of those, <laughs> that big tower is it's just the camera that goes up there and oh, with yeah. remote controls. Oh, a little bit of, bit of extra action there. Yep. Player's a little hyped. Anyway, I met John that way, and... Uh, in some ways, part of what brings us here today, I mean, not uh, it's not the 20-foot tower that brings us here today. Mm -hmm. We actually have our camera in the top of the stands. Mm -hmm. But just the uh, the inspiration of in innovation. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Innovation in the field. Innovation with this technology we can use to get multiple cameras in a reasonable way. Absolutely. Seems to be a... Uh, uptick of a lot more coverage of high school games these days, which is absolutely which is really good. You know, I mean, you're, it's important for the community to come into these games to see what's happening. And you know, some people say that uh, if you cover games, it'll keep people away. I think it works the reverse, that you see the games, you see the excitement exactly. there, and you want to be part of it. Exactly. You know, when you're at the games, I mean, I remember as being as a high school student, I wanted to be there. I wanted to hang out with the friends, you know, sure. watch the games, enjoy the good moments. Man, what was that great pass or Look at that, you know, watch that player run down a, like 100 yards and broke yep. the records. Yep. And see your friends. Yeah, see your exactly. friends doing that stuff. You know, bonding and, you know, having all the face paints and stuff of your school, yep. you know, getting into that school spirit. It's all, it's all part of that good time and that fun, you know, when you're back in high school. And we all remember those days, you know. Absolutely. You know, hanging out with the gang, you know. Yeah, yeah, I remember my pep band I played in. I played uh, hockey, a little bit of football. All oh, right. Uh, <laughs> 
But I remember that pep band. That was great fun. I have to recruit you to my uh, hockey team, the Chiefs. Shout out to those guys. We finished second place this year. So congratulations. <laughs> and back at this game. And we're back. That? Yep. I uh, getting distracted on our lively. <laughs> that's you know, right. <laughs> our our <laughs> way our, back machine. Our way back machines. Exactly. Reel them in. Reel them in, <laughs> folks. These guys will have some great memories to talk about. Uh, you know, after this game. Yeah. Yeah. We got 127 left to play, clock running. And it will be second down and 14, ball spotted at the 35, fourth quarter. And Portsmouth's gonna run it up and the pass is a handoff to number, I believe it was 15. Mm -hmm. So number 15, Jack Madden. Jack Madden. Jack Madden, and he is a senior this year. He's also a quarterback. A lot of quarterbacks for Portsmouth, you know, that are playing. Uh, he's also playing linebacker, too. It says it right on the roster. Wow. That's so quite a quite a double. And it's a fake. Is it a handoff to number yeah, 23? A what a move. Nice he bounces back. off. And now nice he's still running. The center and Excellent job. 30 seconds remaining. Don't forget, folks, we will be doing interviews with players at the end of the game. So I will be uh, taking uh, the mic down with me. So 20 seconds remaining here in this fourth quarter. And the Ports and Clippers will be racking up a uh, excellent win. So you'll see me down on the football field. Um... We'll try and get good coverage on that. So shout out to Athletic Director Russ Wilson as he will be getting me the players for this game. Um, so we're going to make sure we got everything uh, ready. And the, the final score, Portsmouth 42 and the Rochester Spalding Red Raiders 12. I'm going to be down there at the halftime show. Bill, take it away. All right. Thanks, Nick. Great game here, folks. Great game for the home team. Ports with Clippers as the band brings us out. And uh, going into the Memorial Day weekend, teams congratulating each other. Good hard work. Good hard work for these teams here today. Good hard work for my camera crew and Nick McCombie. And thanks to NH1 bringing us here today, and importantly, the Clipper Tavern and Cinemagic supporting us in getting here today for this view across the gridiron of New Hampshire. We'll be, uh, as we mentioned, we'll be covering games throughout this year. Let's see if we've got Nick down there. Let's see if he found gotcha. somebody. No, no, we're a little, uh, not sure where he is, a little far away maybe for our, for our interviews. Well, I hope you enjoyed the game today and uh, we will see you next Friday in Merrimack for some more high school football. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon.